Hey guys, so I've been getting asked a lot about my boat. I recently got a new boat uh, a while back. Steve Douglas came down to do some fishing with me. We had a little meet and greet and had a good old time. If some of you guys made it out there, if you guys didn't see the videos, check it out. But when Steve was getting ready to leave on the last day, we we're packing up and heading out. We passed by and we saw this boat and we all stopped and looked at it and kind of liked it. And Long story short, I ended up buying it. So this is my new boat. You'll be seeing it in a lot of the videos once I hit the lake and stuff like that. I've already done a couple of videos with it, but I want to show it to you. Uh, it's a 1989 Hurricane deck boat. And I really do like it. And I'll walk you around the whole thing. I've done a lot of work to it. One of the things I did to it right, right away was put a new chain on it. Um, the old chain was too long and it was it was worn down so thin I mean it must have been maybe a quarter inch or less on one of the on one of the links for those of you guys who don't know here's a little tip if your chain is too long and it's dragging all you got to do is twist it twist your chain up a little bit like this and it'll shorten the length of it and you can still use it and that that's just a, a trick for towing boats trailers stuff like that so anyways so I put a new chain on it and let's go around I put some LED lighting on it my buddy Chris gave me these from uh, Catfish Hunter so thank you Chris for the lights of course I got my monster rod holders on there can't go wrong with monster rod holders uh, this is this this setup grabs the the rail if you notice it's this aluminum piece is notched and it bolts right on it's got these uh, lock nuts on there so it's not going anywhere and they're sturdy they're solid they're... I really like these kind of rod holders guys but come along this way and you'll see the rest of the boat I uh, got another rod holder here these are different kind of rod holders. They're, uh, they're designed more for when you're traveling and you're not using the rods. I had to modify this. It's, uh, it's, it's holds three, it's all one piece when you buy it. And what I ended up doing is cutting it into two pieces since I have the track on the bottom here, or the rail, and then this one, because it was all put together, it wouldn't reach for me to mount it. So what I did is I just cut it, cut it in half. This is actually the very bottom. And this piece was connected to here. So what I did is I just cut it along the, this rail, this mounting piece, flipped it upside down, mounted it here, and mounted it here. And now it's, it works perfect to hold my fishing rods. I got one on this side and one on that side. Um, it actually came when I bought it, it it had this trailer the guy was telling me that he actually had to get a replacement trailer so this is a little bit more heavy duty trailer than the one that it originally came with it's a tandem axle and the other one was just a single axle uh, I went ahead and put these these straps for the tie down which they're really pretty cool I, just, I didn't even know how they worked, I just bought them, but all you do is you push this little blue button, it releases your strap, and you just clip it back on, couple, couple cranks, and you're done. So yeah, I really like those. Um, it's got this 150 horsepower Evan Rood engine, runs really nice. Uh, let's go, let's go up on, on board and check it out. Come on the board. I, I added this trolling motor. You may have seen this trolling motor. It's the uh, Cayman Haswing. It's a 55 pound thrust 
trolling motor and I had that exact one on my old boat but this boat I think it's a little bit bigger a little bit heavier and it's it's been draining my battery a little bit more so I probably need a a stronger motor than this one even though this one does work great it, I still like it for the price I did a video about this trolling motor a while back and I have no complaints they've actually done an upgrade hold on let me show you uh, They actually did an upgrade to the remote. Now instead of having to worry about changing out batteries and stuff, it is rechargeable. So you just plug your remote in and plug it in. If you come around here, you can see, here's something else I added to this boat. I added these chargers to it, cigarette charger and a USB port. You just plug that in, let your remote charge got an extra one for your phone or whatever you want to charge and uh, yeah that's really come in handy I put this Hummingbird 797C2 uh, fish finder on there and what else have I done to this thing I've added some I've added some lighting to it actually uh, I did show you the front spotlights but I added the the uh, court lights, if you can see that, added those LED strips. Found those on eBay. I think they were eight bucks a roll for 16 feet, which wasn't too bad. The original lights, these in here were real yellow and dingy bulbs and I went on eBay again and I looked for these bulbs replacement bulbs and LEDs and they were I think like a buck a piece or something cheap so I went ahead and I bought it has four of them so I, I bought those and put those on and now I have lighting for the deck and uh, speaking of LEDs up in the front I went ahead and did for the navigation lights, I bought the little strips, LED strips, and if you look over the top here, you'll see them. Put those nav lights on, and those are cheap. I think they were like four bucks on eBay as well. I still have To have this one active in case I in case these don't work or whatever for whatever reason but I decided to get rid of this one because it's just in the way little bulb sticking up like this and now it's it's just a lot cleaner I mean I do still have this troll motor there but now I have all this area to get in and out of the boat it has a live well here And so far, I haven't been able to find the pump for this live well. Uh, pump's not working on it, and I'm assuming it's in here somewhere, but I pulled it out. I pulled all that out, looked for it. I can't find it. So I just need to replace the pump on that. In the meantime, it's no big deal. I just got this bubble maker here. Turn that on. Throw some water in there. I can keep my bait in there if I need to. So uh, just getting by on that. Uh, otherwise, it's a really good boat. I'm really happy with it. Uh, I do have to take it in the shop. It's not wanting to switch into gear. When I try to get in forward, it just kind of grinds. I have to find a little sweet spot and then it kicks in and then I take off. But I don't want to run it like that. So I'm going to get that worked on and fixed. I'm not sure how to do that myself, otherwise I would. But... Uh, it's a it's a great boat. It's got uh, it's got great storage. 
I can see all them life jackets and potato chips. <laughs> I did have to fix this seat. It was it was split in half. I put that three quarter inch plywood on there, and it sturdied it up. And I I made it so where this plywood sits on this back lip here, so that it has more support. But now it's solid. It's got storage over here. All my junk. And what I did here, it's got, there's the battery compartment. I got three batteries on it right now. Oil reservoir over there. And over here I've got me a, an extra anchor. I do two anchors. This is the uh, monster, monster anchor from Steve Douglas. And the second anchor I have is the homemade anchor that I built in one of my videos. And it's worked quite well. Still got it right here. Um, pretty easy build, $20. Build your own anchor and it's lasted this whole time. So you can check that video out if you want. But, so this is my boat guys. It does come with a bi mini top. I took it off because it's winter time and I don't really need the shade in the winter. So, uh, other than that, a little walkthrough on my boat. Hope you guys liked it. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.